think open source is important to government for a couple of reasons. Number one, we've got a budget crisis that's very well advertised on the front page, upper fold every day. I mean, the average citizen knows that uh, the government has to do a lot um, more with a lot less in terms of resources financially. So the first obvious thing about open source in general is it's a lower barrier to entry. So, that, you know, by virtue of the fact that um, we have an open source licensing model, the costs, the capital expenditures to get in are a lot less. But I think more importantly over time is the agility that open source provides to government in terms of being masters of their own universe, having the ability to look at the source code, having the ability to have their product managers make changes when and where they want them. And also being able to move to commodity hardware types of environments helps really, really lower the cost. And by virtue of the fact that you're running on open source, the barrier to exit is lower as well. So unlike running on a proprietary system where you've been locked in for years and years and years and you have no other choices, uh, with open source you have to prove your value every day and if you don't, customers can easily move to another project or to another uh, distributor that's uh, uh, supplying like value. I think the, the, some of the best examples of the way government is using open source is the fact that they're actively participating in the development process. I often mention that I think the beginning of the acceptance of the trust of open source, and if not Linux in particular, is the fact that the NSA, 10 years ago now, developed a project around SE Linux, or the Security Enhanced Linux model. What that did was it said for the rest of the world and the rest of the government uh, that it, this is trusted. We have we, the NSA, the experts on uh, cryptog cryptography and so forth, have developed mandatory access controls that we delivered to the upstream, shared with the upstream, such that the rest of the world now can take advantage of that and use those types of hardening uh, security modules to uh, make their environments more secure. Since that point in time, we've seen the um, uh, the pervasiveness of open source throughout every government agency, uh, every cabinet level agency, civilian, um, uh, intelligence, and also the DOD. Uh, as an example, um, the, the, the Navy uses this on shipboard. Uh, the Army uses this in tactical battle systems. The FAA uses us uh, as they monitor air traffic flow. The National Weather Service uses for hurricane tracking uh, systems. So all these mission critical, bet your life, bet your mission systems are running on open source, and in particular, they're running on Red Hat. The trends and predictions for open source adoption moving forward is it's going to be exponential because now it's not just about Red Hat. Red Hat, I think, has paved the way for making this paradigm something that's consumable. It's paved the way to say, hey, look, uh, open source software is stable, it's predictable, it's supportable, it's secure. And now what we're seeing with the advent of cloud computing and changing paradigms as we move into transformative uh, IT, uh, we're seeing all these projects starting up from all over the place. We've seen technologies from um, Google uh, transform into the Hadoop project, which is you know, managing large sets of data. We've seen Cassandra from Facebook, which helped them you know, manage big data as well, make it into the open source in a, in a, in a world that uh, is now known as NoSQL, managing big data. So all the challenges that are facing us in turn, in, in going forward are all being handled very well in open source. And I think it's because it actually uh, is uh, uh, Semper Fi, if you will, Semper Fidelis, to the uh, open, open government, which is transparent and participative and collaborative. So those tenants that make open source work actually make open government work, and I think it's just going to take off like we haven't seen in the past. My open source advice for government is that uh, just get involved. Um, you know, it's um, open source today is not a question. I think Dan Reisager from the DOD says it best. When he says it's not, you know, should I use it or can I use it is why wouldn't you be using it? So if you're not making use of open source technologies and I think even more importantly, open source methodologies for developing mission uh, type of applications, then um, you're missing the boat. Well, I think one that's uh, got a lot of name recognition, of course, is OpenStack. 
uh, an open source project that was started uh, at NASA with the help of Rackspace. And recently, uh, with a little nudging from the community, including Red Hat, OpenStack has actually uh, brought itself into a much more uh, 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 open community. And now 150 plus companies are participating in that project, Red Hat being very conspicuous in that regard as we're a platinum sponsor for the project. A platinum sponsor basically means we're doing a lot of capital funding, we're spending millions of dollars a year uh, for the care and feeding of the project, and we're also a very large contributor to innovation, to code, if you will, to the OpenStack project. And what's really interesting from our standpoint is that we watch innovation happen because problems are being solved in the community, and then we have the uh, ability then to come and say, well, let's make this an enterprise class version. The open source version is where all the innovation happens, the, the community version, if you will, and the enterprise class version is what we do, bounded around a subscription to provide uh, multi-year support, and, and uh, life cycle support such that the application will work for 10 years plus without breaking application APIs or ABI binaries with hardware environments. That's what we do and I think OpenStack is going to be something that's going to be very well received by our customers as we go into a support mode for it.